Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salar Khan here. And today with the topic of majority and minority carriers. Majority and minority carriers in extrinsic materials, right? And I could say in extrinsic materials. Well, I could have uh, done it in the, uh, when I was discussing these materials, but then I said that I would make a separate video on it, so it would also be just a comparison as well. So, first you have, let's say over here you have the N-type, and over here you have the P-type materials. Fine? Alright. So, let me draw a line in between these two, with this darker marker. Okay, so now what do you have in the end type material we saw why that a, a an impurity was added that consisted of let's say it was antimony so it had five valence electrons all right so this is this is it right and then we had uh, silicon atoms surrounding it. So, silicon was surrounding it in this way. Silicon was surrounding it from here. Well, I'm not drawing these neatly. I'm sorry for that. This is something you know already. And similarly, you have a silicon over here. So, it resulted in four covalent bonds, but it resulted in an extra electron. All right. So what do you have in the n-type materials? You have the first point is that you have tri pentavalent impurity. Pentavalent impurity is added, right? Similarly, in case of this uh, p-type, we took uh, an uh, that boron, right? And it had minus uh, this electron was here. Here it has three electrons, right? So the silicon uh, surrounded it from four sides. So what happened was that it was introduced to a vacancy of electrons. Three covalent bonds and a Vacancy and this here is the vacancy of that electron. So what did we had over here? Uh, the first point is that uh, trivalent impurity was added. Trivalent impurity is added. Now what happens that you get an extra electron in the n-type material? extra electron is introduced and you could say this is a relatively free electron loosely bound to the parent atom with less amount of energy it is free over here you have a vacancy of electron all right so now if these are separated so you have uh, these have donated, you can say that the impurity atoms are electron donors, right? Over here, number third point is impurity atoms are electron donors, right? Because they have electron, they have denoted this electron. And over here you have the uh, impurity atoms are electron acceptors. Why? Because this vacancy can readily accept any electron offered to it. Now, what about these majority and minority carriers? So have a look. Over here, we have a large number of free electrons produced. So you have electrons as the majority carriers. Electrons are majority carriers and over here you have the holes are introduced so the holes are majority carriers 
Why? Because there are a lot of holes in this in this one. Electrons are not. So the current is due to holes in the p-type material. The current is mainly due to the electrons in the n-type material. Now, if you want me to draw the diagram for it, so if this is an n-type material, if this is an n-type material, we have it in the book as well, like this. So you have these donor ions. You have these uh, donor ions which means they are positively charged donor ions, right? And you have what? You have the electrons as the majority carriers. So let me write them with the green, with the red color. So they are a lot in number. Electrons, right? And the holes, they are the minority carriers. So they are just a few in number. Okay, now what do you have over here in the p-type material? So let this be the p-type material. Over here what do you have? You have impurity atoms or electron acceptors which means you have negatively charged ions if they are shown separately or if they are given energy to be separate, right? And over here we have the holes as the majority carriers. So which means you have a greater number of holes. And the electrons, they are the minority carriers. So let me write a few of electrons as well. Alright, so let me write over here also that the fifth point is that the holes are minority charge carriers in this case. And in this case, electrons are minority carriers. Now this video is very important to understand before going into the next video. In the next video, we will combine a p-type material and an n-type material to form a p-n junction diode, which is a very important topic, right? So let me read out from the book whatever I've said over here. So, in the intrinsic state, the number of electrons is due to only those of the few electrons in the valence band that have acquired sufficient energy from thermal or light. So, let this be, okay. The number of electrons far outweighs the number of holes in an n-type material. So, which means in an n-type material, the electron is called the majority carrier and the hole is the minority carrier. Similarly, for the p-type material, the number of holes far outweighs the number of electrons. So, in a p-type material, the hole is a majority carrier and the electron is a minority carrier. Now, when the fifth electron of a donor atom over here, or when the fifth electron of the donor atom leaves the parent atom, the atom remaining acquires a positive charge. So this is what the, I, I have drawn. That when you give it sufficient amount of energy that the electron, that fifth extra electron was has been separated from the parent atom, leaving behind a positively charged parent atom. Unless it has been separated, they are electrically neutral. But when it's separated, so it becomes a positively charged ion. Hence the plus sign uh, in the donor ion representation, right? And similarly, the minus sign appears on the acceptor ions. Over here, have a look. These are electrically neutral. We have said that because the protons and the electrons are the same. But when, what happens that you remove the vacancy of electrons. So over here that we saw, the hole is over here, but it is not separated. When it is separated from the sign, which means this has been fed out of it. So then we have this negatively charged ions over here. The impurity atoms are negatively charged and the holes are separated and they are the, uh, oh, they are the what? They are the, 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 the what? So someone disturbed me, right? So they are the majority carriers. The holes are the majority carriers over here. The electrons are the majority carriers over here. The minority are holes, minority are electrons. That's all about it. And the n-type and the p-type materials represent the basic block of semiconductor devices. We will find it in the next section that the joining of a single n-type and p-type will result in a very important material. The name is given, it is a semiconductor by uh, that, p-n junction diode. So see you there. 
where, where we form the PN junction diode. That's all for today. See you in the next lecture very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourself and everyone around you. Goodbye.